pieces that I've been pushing out in the last eight months, maybe I feel like I've, I'm more connected to. I think that I'm finding like my style. And I feel like I've always kind of had a style, especially like, when it came to like colors. But I think the way that I'm drawing or the messages that I'm putting in them is cohesive all across the board. So I feel like if you look at it, then you could tell that it's the same artist and I have like a body of work going on. I still don't have a favorite, but when I'm not like doing a portrait or doing something for somebody else, I feel like it's more about me or people who I can relate to. Um, so a lot of the time it's about focusing around meditation or just being more self-aware and confident and loving and giving good energy to people and your environment because then you're going to get it back. I feel like that's mainly what I try to put into my work more so than anything. And then that's what I'm getting more confident about now. This is really exciting. <laughs> There's an artist named CJ Monet, and she's a music artist, but she's also a visual artist. And she's the person who stepped into that realm of like full-time artists. So that's really inspiring because that's something that I'm trying to do right now. So, and, and she doesn't consider herself an artist, but she is. She's most definitely an artist. So her, because of her work ethic. And then there is Aaliyah. Her studies is textiles and painting, but she also has a minor in like African-American studies, which is really cool. But just how she talks about her art and being black and like demonstrating that, um, I think it's really cool because I didn't see that at all when I was at ECU. And she also started a black art skill there, which was really cool. Anybody who would be down to collab with me would be really cool because no two pieces would be the same because you're building up an energy with somebody that you couldn't, you know, duplicate. So nobody in mind, but anybody, you know, anybody, you know. <laughs> it would kind of be this thing called the atmosphere. It would be a studio space, but also shop in the front, maybe like a tea, coffee thing. But in the gallery, there would be art, of course my art, but like other people's art that like, you know, inspired me. And then also probably like whatever I'm into in that moment. And I kind of want to like play with the home decor side of it as well, of just like a rotation every three months maybe, where the atmosphere just changes and it's a different feel when you walk in. I just most definitely want to have like that studio space, but also a space where I'm building up a community and playing all the atmosphere of things. I feel like that is important. Like when you walk into a space, you feel that energy. My art is a part of me and I get to share that with people. And it's kind of like an energy exchange. You just know that I literally put my creative, you know, soul into it. So I hope that people connect to it. And that's kind of why I make art. It's more so about the connections than anything. I just want to connect to people, that's all. And cause the art lab's cool, that too. <laughs>